So I'm making a raw beet soup, which is one of my favorites. I love beets. They love your liver, and anything that loves your liver, I'm all for. I'm also a big fan of avocado. That's nice, healthy fat. And you can add either a nice fermented vinegar, but since I added a vinegar to the last raw soup that I made, I decided to add lemon instead to this one. So let's get started. I have a cup of diced beets. I have half an avocado. Got a cup of diced cucumber. And a quarter cup of onion. One clove of garlic, because yes, garlic should be in everything. And I decided to change this recipe a little bit today because I thought ginger would be interesting in it. So I'm gonna find out. And then I squeezed a lemon and I really only need a tablespoon, but since I squeezed it, it looks like it's gonna be two tablespoons of fresh squeezed lemon full of vitamin C and a tablespoon of beautiful cold pressed olive oil, heart healthy, part of a good Mediterranean diet, and just a half a teaspoon of salt, because I like salt. lid on this baby. Wow. Now just like the other soup, you could make it as chunky or as smooth as you like. So this is a chunky version of this. And I like it like that, and actually, I'm just going to taste it right now. Perfect. But, I'm going to be back in a minute after I run this through the Vitamix, and then you'll see really how smooth you can make this soup. This is some smooth soup. Holy cow. One of the chefs I studied under said at some point something to the effect of, oh, the Vitamix makes everything divine. And it really does. It is delicious and creamy. But if you like texture, you can have it chunky like I did with the green soup. Mmm. That would be delicious creamy. That's also good chunky. Either way you like it, and with whatever kind of veggies you like, you can toss in carrots, you can do a sweet potato. It's a lot of variety, and you're really, you're always only limited by your own imagination. So please try these soups. They are a nice addition to your diet, and they can be a side dish, they can be a main dish, you can crush up some pumpkin seeds or nuts and put them on top or puree some beans into them. They are just delish. So enjoy.